Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. So today is such a beautiful day, you guys. I think this is probably the last um, gorgeous day that we're going to have before, you know, um, the cold sets in for the winter, I'm telling you. And I was at Aldi's today, actually, and I ran into uh, quite a few people that, uh, that were just loving every minute of it. Um, they kept remarking just how gorgeous and spring-like the weather looked like. But anyway, I ended up um, going to Bible study yesterday. And I ran into, of course, my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter. And they had a nice surprise for me. They have been uh, kind of decluttering their home, going through some old boxes that they haven't even opened in years. And they came across some yarny goodness that they wanted to, uh, you know, donate to uh, to the ministry. So I'm going to show you. It has nothing grand, like it's not brand new yarn that has. Some of it doesn't even have labels. It's basically mostly scraps. Um, and there's some finished, you know, unfinished items that someone started. Um, thing is that they, you know she doesn't even know where she got this from she had it so long apparently but I wanted to sh share it with you because one it's it's not how much the yarn costs or um, you know sometimes a lot of people may be like well you know I have some yarn but it's old and or it's just scraps and you know what can you make with that well you can make a lot with nothing and I have made like tons of things that people would just always remark I can't believe this was made with scraps uh, you can turn bits and pieces into beautiful work it's you know yarn is expensive and you know every little helps so let me tell you it does not matter if there's just scraps or it doesn't have to be the most expensive uh, hank or, or you know or cake or skein of yarn it's you know it could be something that has been sitting in your basement for years and years and another reason why is I love looking through um, unfinished uh, work that someone started and you know they couldn't they didn't finish it you know they passed away where they stopped crocheting uh, and you know and you know never finished their item so I love looking through it so she had like three blankets in there and I'm going to call them unfinished because they're kind of small to be baby blankets unless they were meant for preemies but even then some of the colors that were chosen I uh, would not use for a baby blanket so I'm going to call them unfinished but here's one right here and I actually really really love um, this I don't know if I could even get this kind of variegated yarn. Who knows? But you know what? I really love it. It's it's. I think there's nine squares in here, and look at it. It was binded together, and it's like seamless. Like you literally cannot see where she joined them together. You would really have to look closely. But I love doing that. I love looking and trying to see if I could decipher what kind of stitch they used or what they were trying to make with this but so I am going to be looking forward to finishing this into a bigger blanket because it's a little small for a baby blanket another piece that I really love these color combinations it's always cool to me to see the different colors people use in their work like sometimes we never even think about you know adding these color combining these colors together so look at this one you guys I love these colors together and again it is what is it three six nine squares that were bind together and she really did whoever had this they did a fantastic job of joining where they did this seamless stitch and putting them together very beautiful I don't even know if I can do that oh absolutely beautiful I love these colors combos look at them and it came out looking magnificent so I do plan on finishing this one maybe adding what I think is better is if I just 
uh, keep adding a border to it, making it, you can make it a little bit larger just by add, continuing the border. And then look at this one. Now, <laughs> this one totally reminds me of maybe uh, they were trying to get rid of some scraps or maybe not. Who knows? I mean, like, look at the colors that are in this blanket. There's yellow and pink and green and blue. And like, sometimes we would never even consider putting these colors together. But yet they look really nice. I, I think this is cool. So I don't know who made these. She doesn't even remember. They must have been sitting uh, who gave them to her or where she got them from. She cannot remember them. But I love them. I'm going to you know, continue adding to these. Now for the scraps. And I have to tell you, I have a passion for scraps. I know that sounds crazy, but I love scraps. So I get excited, you guys, every time I get little bits and pieces of yarn that nobody wants and people want to throw this out. Like, look at all the colors. These are just, you know, here's some forest green. Here's some teal, you know, some orange, some blue, some royal blue, purple, and this variegated. And a lot of people would be like, you know, I don't know what to do with this. You can't make anything out of this. Yes, you can. You can make a lot with this. So I am excited. I get excited by that. I love it. And I've said this, like, I don't know how many times. I love Jane Wynn from Scraptastic Yarn. I think that is the most awesome name ever because why didn't, I mean, Scraptastic, because she loves scraps as much as I do. So, I mean, you, boy, do I need a haircut, you guys. <laughs> so here's another bag of the different yarns. There's some red, there's some nice variegated colors, some and you know, I will find some use for this. This will be useful for many, many things. I can make all sorts of things. I mean, I never thought when I made those headbands out of the dallops that I would do headbands out of them. But they came in handy too. So, <laughs> there's another scrap. And these are just the uh, balls of yellow and pink and royal blue and, you know, just the um, beige and cream and... You can make a lot out of this. So I'm really, really excited. Just excuse me. And then I have like, you know, skeins of, some more skeins of the green and a little bit of these, um, you know, small ones like this. I can usually, uh, I can use them for, for my little Frankenstein scar, uh, squares that I plan on making with all my scraps. But I think, hold on, there's one more ball, but I have to reach for it. So, okay, and we're back. Now this is about the only um <laughs> skein of yarn that actually has the label on it and that just tells you and this is from um these are premieres deborah norville the serenity chunky heathers and it's the chunkier yarn with the in the heather gray look at that and actually believe it or not i do have some chunky in the grays that are I, I can combine this with and make something with it so and then of course they did also I did get um, a couple of hooks I can never have enough hooks I am one of those people that I'm always losing them like in my car or like I have tons of hooks though and um, anytime I'm showing someone how to crochet for the first time I give them a skein of yarn and I give them a hook and uh, so I'm always in need of hooks so anyway I wanted just to share that with you it it may not be much for anyone else uh, who you know for the real uh, yarn connoisseurs <laughs> but for me it's a big deal it's a huge deal because it's donations like that of, of bits of yarn that can make something really beautiful and no yarn is wasted here in with my in the ministry so i just wanted to share that with all of you and i cannot wait to dig in there and start making something with it so anyway thank you so much i hope you are enjoying this beautiful day the last few days before you know halloween because you know once halloween comes you guys it is over and the cold sets in and it really is the uh, pre days before winter so 
enjoy the days that we have now that are still nice and warm. And until we meet again, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.